AITA for firing my best man for proposing at my wedding. My wedding day was supposed to be the happiest day of my life. As a 30-year-old man, I had spent months planning every detail with my 28-year-old fiancé, Emily. We meticulously chose the venue, the flowers, the menu, and even the tiniest details of the decorations. Everything turned out perfect, almost. My best man, John, who is 32, has been my closest friend since childhood. We grew up together, shared countless memories, and supported each other through thick and thin. Naturally, I asked him to be my best man, and he accepted with excitement. John and I had shared a bond that felt more like brotherhood than friendship, and having him by my side on my big day felt like the perfect culmination of our lifelong camaraderie. The ceremony was beautiful, and the reception was even better. Emily and I felt surrounded by love and joy as we celebrated with our family and friends. The atmosphere was filled with laughter, happiness, and the promise of a bright future together. Everything was going smoothly until the speeches began. John stood up to give his best man speech. At first, it was full of the usual jokes and heartfelt stories that everyone enjoyed. He recounted our childhood escapades, our high school adventures, and the moments that solidified our friendship. The room was filled with laughter and smiles. His speech was touching and humorous, a perfect reflection of our long history together. But then, out of nowhere, he turned to his girlfriend, Sarah, who is 25, and started talking about their relationship. I was caught off guard as John's tone shifted from reminiscing about our friendship to discussing his love for Sarah. He spoke about how much she meant to him and how their relationship had changed his life. Before I knew it, he was down on one knee, proposing to her right there in the middle of my reception. The room went silent. I could feel Emily's hand squeezing mine tighter and tighter. Sarah said yes, and everyone started clapping and cheering. But I was fuming. I felt like my special day had been hijacked. Instead of celebrating our marriage, everyone was now focused on John and his fiancée. After the initial shock wore off, I confronted John. I pulled him aside and told him he was out of line. He looked genuinely surprised by my reaction. He said he thought it would be a great surprise and assumed I would be happy for him. I told him he was selfish and inconsiderate, and I ended up kicking him out of the reception. Emily stood by my side, supporting my decision. She believed that our wedding day should have been about us and our commitment to each other, not about John's proposal. She felt that his actions were disrespectful and overshadowed our celebration. Our wedding day was meant to be a once-in-a-lifetime event, and John had turned it into something else entirely. Despite Emily's support, I couldn't help but feel conflicted. John had been my best friend for so long, and I hated the idea of losing our friendship over this incident. I started to question if I had overreacted. Some of our mutual friends weighed in, saying I should have let it slide for the sake of our friendship. They argued that John didn't mean any harm and was just caught up in the moment. As days turned into weeks, the incident continued to haunt me. I replayed the events of that night over and over in my mind, trying to understand John's perspective. He had been so excited about proposing to Sarah, and in his mind, it seemed like the perfect opportunity. But to me, it felt like a blatant disregard for the months of planning and the significance of the day for Emily and me. One evening, I decided to reach out to John. I needed to clear the air and understand his side of the story. We met at our favorite pub, a place that held countless memories of our friendship. John looked remorseful as he walked in, and I could see the tension in his shoulders. Hey, I started, trying to keep my tone neutral. Hey, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.